I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYear.com. Today we're going to do a product review on the all-new Alpine Stars T-Missile Dry Star Tech Air Race Compatible Textile Jacket. Okay, as of the filming of this video, this jacket retails for $399.95. Remember, prices can change. Let's start off by talking about who is this jacket right for? Because you know, you hear that whole airbag system compatible. Does that mean it's only good if you have the airbag? Well, it's kick ass if you have the airbag. But even without the airbag, this is a great waterproof textile jacket that offers direct to skin ventilation. Okay, so don't think because it's airbag compatible, that that excludes you if you're interested in this jacket because there's a lot of benefits you pick up from these airbag compatible garments from Alpine Stars, whether you choose to use the airbag vest or not. Okay, let's talk about sizing. Right now I have on my Tech Air Race vest underneath this coat. I've also removed the foam inserts from the back and the chest because I needed the additional volume. I'm wearing a size extra large in this coat. I'm five feet 11 inches tall, just over 200 pounds with about a 34 inch waist, somewhat athletic build. And I gotta tell you, this thing fits and feels great. I'm super pumped. Without the airbag, well, I can kind of do a large if I want it to fit really snug. And we'll show you as we go through the video, the difference in the fit from when I'm wearing the airbag to when I'm not wearing the airbag. The T-Missile Dry Star Jacket comes with CE armor in the elbow form as well as the shoulder. It has foam chest inserts and a foam back insert. Those can be upgraded. You can choose to upgrade those by installing the Tech Air Race Vest, which is the way I recommend to do it. Or if you're interested in just the jacket itself without stepping up to the airbag vest, you can put their CE certified back pad and or chest inserts in the coat so fully upgradable. Shoulder slider, all YKK zips, storage pockets here, hand warmer style locking zips, entry and exit here, locking zips with a gator, more volume adjustment here. That was nice because if you see the pictures where I'm on the motorcycle on the R6, I had on the SP2 V2 gloves and I actually used this to kind of dial in the cuff just a little bit and made it easier to get the gauntlet over. So that was definitely effective. Direct to skin ventilation. You heard me mention that earlier. This is something I really like. You zip this open, kind of roll out of the way the gator inside, and we'll show you that more later. But you get your arms out there, the air drives in, lifts this open, that's direct to skin, brings it right into the coat. So you're going to get good cooling with this jacket, okay? It's going to break the wind, and it's also going to be water resistant with their dry star membrane. Inside the coat, you've got storage pockets, the breast. Velcro closure storage pockets, other things you pick up with the Tech Air Race compatible garment is you have motion panels here in the elbow, additional motion panels here in the shoulder, and look at the motion panels in the back. It takes the mobility of this jacket to that next level, and that's a benefit you can enjoy whether you're going to use the vest or not. If you want more information than I've given you so far, stay tuned for the second part. I'm going to show you how to put the vest in it and give you a good look from the inside out. Okay, now we're gonna jump into the inside out of the T-Missile Dry Star jacket. The first thing that we're gonna show you, and this is what everybody wants to see, how do you put the airbag vest in? This is meant to work with the Tech Race Air System, which is the one that we focus on here. So to install it, first thing you'll wanna do, there's no need to leave this foam padding in here unless you need it inside the coat to take up space I would suggest removing that. Okay, you're already adding quite a bit with the back protector that's integrated into the tech airbag system. I don't see the reason to leave this in. So we're gonna start by pulling that out. You gotta feed your harness through it. Obviously take your time here. You don't wanna do anything to damage the connector. Don't tug on the wires. Feed it through, handling primarily the plastic connector itself. Go ahead and put that to the side. Now, it does come with the foam chest pads in there as well. You're going to want to take those out.
Unzip right here. That'll get you behind the mesh liner. Here are the chest pads. They Velcro right in, like so. Adding the vest to the jacket certainly adds a little bit of bulk. There's no question. In my opinion, it is for sure worth it. State-of-the-art technology. And if you've already invested in that system, having this T-Missile Dry Star jacket is a great option because odds are a lot of people that are doing track riding, they're also going to be doing some street riding at points. And if you've invested that money in that vest, it's nice to have a platform to use it on the street. Okay, all the foam inserts are out of the jacket now. The first thing we need to do is let's pass the wiring harness through the liner in the jacket. Once again, handling the plastic connector. Like so. Now we're going to plug that in. And that goes right here. It's all color-coded stuff, so this is super simple. Like that. Turn it on if you're going to use it. Go ahead and put the vest up into the jacket. We're going to use the same Velcro attachment points that we have with all the other garments. These panels do allow for just a little bit of finite adjustment with the vest. Take your time here, make sure you get everything lined up real nice. We've got one patch at the base of the neck, one on each shoulder, and then one on each upper arm. Take your time, get that all dialed in. Mirror image, of course, on the other side. Make sure it's engaged nicely. Okay, now there are integrated zippers for the Tech Air Race vest that are right here in the lapel of the jacket. Go ahead and engage those. All color-coded stuff. Like so. You can see the indicator lights here. I'm pretty sure this bad boy is still charged up. As it is. And there you have it. That is how you install the Tech Air Race Vest in your T-Missile Dry Star Jacket. Okay, we've shown you how to install the Tech Air Race airbag system. Now we're going to focus on the inside out of just the jacket itself comes with a foam back pad. Not certified, it can be upgraded. Foam chest pads will be one on each side. These are all held in Velcro pockets inside the jacket. They've got CE certified back protector inserts you can install, as well as CE certified chest armor inserts for the jacket if you decide not to go with the vest. This comes with their latest and greatest CE certified armor in the shoulders, as well as the elbow and form. This is some really choice stuff. The jacket itself, one of the biggest wins when you have one of these airbag compatible garments is all of the flex material, the stretch material you get built into it. Look at these accordion panels, okay? They are everywhere. That's there in case the airbag deploys. It also benefits the rider when you have the jacket on because it allows the coat to move with you and not fight you. Instead of having smaller stretch, large stretch panel it just moves right with you super comfortable very clean look on the back embroidered logo 
Waist adjustment is done with Velcro and Textile. Inlaid shoulder slider. There's that motion panel on the shoulder, even look at how much that stretches. In the elbow, reflective panel, embroidered logo on the forearm. Got some stretch fabric here. It's also in the inner arm area. The direct to skin ventilation. This is really key. When you get a waterproof jacket, they do breathe. It is certainly breathable, but it can get a little bit clammy when it gets hot out. With this one, you're able to open up the intake vent here and this allows the air to flow directly to your skin, which is the most effective way to do it. I like they blended that into this jacket. Hand warmer style storage pockets, both sides, locking zippers. A little higher collar here. It's padded comfort rolled fabric. Get inside the coat, mesh fabric, storage pocket right here, Velcro closure, mirror image over on the right side, zip to pants attachment. It'll work with any of the A-Star textile pants. To access the chest armor, you open up this zipper right here and go inside the mesh liner. To get to the elbow and forearm armor, you have to undo the Velcro here, and this is going to get you in between that dry star membrane and the outer shell of the jacket, which is where the armor lives, if in fact you need to pull that out and service it. Of course, over here on the left sleeve, You've got your tech air indicator lights. All in all, what do I think? Airbag or no airbag, this is a kick-ass textile jacket. Waterproof, breathable because you have the direct-to-skin ventilation. All those additional stretch panels make this thing a home run. I think this is a great buy at $399. And then it leaves the door open for that tech air vest if you want to add it down the road. I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com.